Hi, and welcome to the Rags to Riches show with myself, Terry Blackburn. So today's episode is another fantastic member of our mastermind. He's doing some great things in property already, and he's had a few wins since he joined the program. So we're going to have a bit of an interview, a bit of a chat, a bit of a catch up about how Michael's uh, progressed since joining the mastermind and his wins. So excited, really good guy. He's from St. Albans, Hertfordshire way, long way from the northeast. Uh, but he's a great guy, doing some great things. So um, welcome to the show, Michael Hand. Thanks, Terry. Great to be on here. And um, yeah, just in case some of the viewers or listeners get confused, I'm originally from Manchester and yeah, I moved All sort right. of down south, um, yeah, probably about 20 years ago. So if people start hearing Northern Twang and get confused, um, <laughs> yeah, I just thought I'd clear that bit up. But yeah, based in uh, St Albans uh, in Hertfordshire, so about 25 miles north of London. Um, just to clear some of the geography up but yeah great to be on here thanks for having me no no problems man no problems no thank you for coming on so so i've never met michael before i've still never met you in person and you joined the mastermind in january um i know you've you were doing some great stuff prior to that and you seem to be doing even more stuff now so could you just maybe tell us about the main things that you've learned since joining the mastermind michael that'd be great yeah absolutely so uh yeah like as you say um Joined the mastermind in January, what we're probably about half the way through the course at the moment. So, yeah, I mean, there's been a, a, a sort of wealth of learning, actually. So I've been in the property space full time um, for probably about two, two and a half years. Um, done some other learning, been on lots of different courses um, and had a really accelerated learning curve. But probably fair to say I've learned more in the last three months and I've, I've learned in the last two and a half years, which is saying something. So, um, yeah, if I could probably try and describe it to people who've, uh, maybe don't know anything about it or are, are potentially interested, this is a, a, a totally new, um, an immersive and alternative way of really thinking about being successful in property with, with two people, yourself, Terry and, and Mark, who I'd say have very complementary ways of, working um complementary approaches um but together and combined it's a really powerful uh, mix of yeah just a really really well thought through program that builds um over the course uh, of the entire mastermind into something which is uh just just really really impressive actually i think you know uh, i'm not just saying this because i'm on here with you right now but um, the reason you. i joined the mastermind originally was was really just like tapping into this different way of thinking about property investing. Um, and for me, it was really about how do I grow a portfolio? Um, and one of the key questions I've always had, whether it's been in business previously or in property is, how do we think differently um, and not do what everyone else is doing, but um, but try and think in a different way so that we can kind of achieve something um, even better than the, the, the most people potentially are as well. So yeah, so far, Terry, quite a long-winded answer, but I mean, the, the learning curve has been huge and we've covered a hell of a lot already. So, yeah, really impressed so far. Oh, I appreciate you. I appreciate you saying that. And that, that's great to hear. And the feedback has been that it's complimentary. Me and Mark are different. There's a lot of things that we're, we're aligned on and there's a lot of things that were different in as well. And we have different, slightly different skill sets. And, and I think with you guys in, in the future courses, it's you're getting the best of both, aren't you? You're getting two different approaches that do complement each other. So, um, so yeah, I appreciate your, your, your kind words. And um, have you had, had, had any sort of major wins since joining the programme, whether that's mindset, whether that's actual wins? I know you've raised some money and things. Could you tell us about any of the wins that you've had? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, I think probably mindset's a good place to start, actually, because I think that, you know, anyone who's even dipped the toe in the water in the property space will know that 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 mindset resilience is probably one of the most important things to being successful in property and i think already i've had a such an overwhelming mindset shift in a number of different areas about what is or isn't possible um and i think that pays homage to the way that the course sort of builds and is, is layered and the level of thought that's gone behind the programming and sequencing of content has been really 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 helpful because you know there are different uh, people at different levels who've got different objectives on the course um, but where it's been really really beneficial for me is you know it's, it's actually been sort of probably uh, changing some of the limiting beliefs I had in certain areas so you know raising finance the way that you know you and Mark encourage us to think about 
actually doing that is a is a really really smart way and actually flies in the face of the way probably most people think that you should do that and that's been really beneficial already sort of raised fifty thousand pounds of private finance so far um without yeah. actually probably putting as much time or energy into it um as i will be doing over the coming weeks but you know even now it's really started to change the way that i fundamentally approach how i do that um I made it much more straightforward to be able to do that. And that's a key part of, you know, what I'm looking to achieve requires sort of private finance going forward. So, I mean, that in itself has been amazing. I've had other sort of beneficial wins in terms of, you know, some of the strategies and tactics of not just what you do, but how you do what you do um, has helped kind of feed into uh, one of my other businesses as well and helped close other businesses. And now I'm sort of, doubling down and focusing on, um, you know, building my own property portfolio and um, by applying some of the techniques that I've learned already. So, yeah, I mean, I wasn't expecting to have as as many kind of powerful wins this early in the course, but um, yeah, I'm really getting the sense of, you know, learning the techniques, being able to apply them already. Um, and there's still a lot more to, uh, still a lot more to go, which is really exciting. So yeah, yeah, it's been so far so good. It's been, it's been brilliant, Terry. Yeah, no, I appreciate that, man. Again, that, that that's really kind of you. Title splits is coming up. Everyone loves the title splits. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely, so, yeah. so, uh, it's a big money in that. But um, but no, that's great. And and just lastly on the mastermind before we we'll sort of get on to 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 your sort of story. Um, if anyone was thinking about joining, um, what would you say or, or was any sort of recommendations you would, you would give? Yeah, I think well, you know, I think depending on um what your focus is and your goals are, um you know it's by far the the most i'd say involved um and well thought through program i've ever uh, seen or been part of um and like i say it's you know it's 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 it, I, I don't know how to best describe it other than say i've just been like my expectations were high and i've been completely exceeded in every every way just from the level of accountability the amount of support um, just the, the the speed and rate of, of learning and you're going to learn things on this course that you're just not going to get taught anywhere else um you know in, in simple terms and so you know if you're really serious about being successful in property the way i've thought about the investment here is that you know this is this this feels to me like an, an entire game changer not just for me but you know for my family so a big part of um you know my own focus and why i left my corporate background to to sort of go into this space was um to enjoy a richer lifestyle fundamentally and i think like everything that we're learning and doing on the course is is helping me move more and more um in that direction which for me is the the most important thing so yeah look if you're looking to get one of the i know space is limited on this course so if you are looking to get on the course then you, you certainly won't dis be disappointed and um yeah you, you, you're sort of learning from two um equally brilliant people who yeah i think just will give you access to an entirely different way of thinking about how you can be successful in property so um yeah i hope that's not me sitting on the fence too much there terry but yeah <laughs> uh, yeah as you can tell i'm enjoying it no, i love it no i love that man again <laughs> no, no, i appreciate what you're saying and and yeah, we had a brief chat beforehand and, and about how sort of you came across Mark and what attracted you to the course. And I think a lot of people are, have a similar view to what we talked about again before the podcast started was about this lifestyle that that working every hour God sends. You had a corporate background where I imagine it was, you know, intense, lots of hours invested, but people treat property the same. People will work 18 hour plus days sacrifice the health sacrifice the fitness sacrifice the family life time with the children time with the partner just in the pursuit of wealth we don't teach that we teach a way where you can still be wealthy and still grow your wealth and earn a lot of money but protecting your time and making sure you're spending that time with people that you love and people that you care about and on yourself because there's no point in having loads of money if you know, the richest person in the graveyard type of thing, or there's no point having loads of money and then having nobody to spend your money on or your time with. Um, it's pointless, right? And, and that's yeah. what we're trying to sort of shout about because a lot of these other educators aren't doing that. They're just, it's all about money, money, money. It's all about growing your wealth, but it's a big part of that that they're missing, I feel, which is what we're trying to add, isn't it? And oh, I know that's what attracted you, isn't it? 
Yeah, I mean, having, you know, like my daughter's now uh, sort of 11 and 11 and 9, and there's already, they're already at the age where there's lots of eye rolling, and I'm sure they're not going to want me around too much, <laughs> over the, you know, over the, uh, the sort of teenage years in quite the same way. But, you know, for me, um, you're absolutely right. And I think for a lot of people coming out of sort of COVID, time is our most precious resource. And, you know, the, just the, the level of thought that goes behind thinking about that and really referencing that is, I think it's really, really uh, super impressive. And um, it's certainly the, the direction of travel I want to take over time. And, and it, this isn't about like not working hard, but it's just, it's about working smart, but learning, you know, tried and trusted techniques that you guys teach to be able to, 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 to open up this, this whole world that, you know, for many, they probably don't even know exists. And um, yeah, I'm delighted. I'm sort of on that, on that journey as well. So yeah, thank you for, for sharing what you do. No, man, that's cool. No, that's cool. No, thank you. Um, yeah, that, that, that's all great. Thank you for your feedback. Hopefully, if there's anybody on the fence have heard that, and it, it's maybe stuck, thought I'll push them into to reaching out. Um, so what about you, Michael? I know that you've um you've got some very glossy developments in a uh, very <laughs> schnaz properties in Saint Albans. Maybe you want to tell tell all the the viewers a little bit about that, uh, th those deals and what you're doing there. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to. So, um, yeah, I don't know for better or for worse. I sort of I. I... I went into property development straight out of my uh, corporate career. And yeah, we, the first project I did ended up kind of, actually I ended up traveling around the country looking for my first investment property, ended up buying the house next door to me and renovating that, um, which was great, learned a lot. Um, that did well. We sold that for, 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 a, for a million just before Christmas, which was, which was great as a, the sort of first main project. And then, yeah, the one we're doing at the moment, um, I've joined ventured with a with a contractor, which has been brilliant because, you know, as you know, Terry, as well, finding someone where you have shared values but complementary skills is is a really special thing, actually. So what we're doing at the moment is a um a development of two five-bed luxury houses um in the in the heart of Harpenden. Um so yeah, we're we're currently sort of three months into a uh, a 10-month build on that. So hoping to finish that by the end of this year. Um, the GDB on that will be somewhere in the range of sort of 3.2 to 3.4 million um, for those two. So, yeah, really excited. Like the projects, again, learning a lot. Um, great to be sort of partnering with someone. So I'm not sort of on site as much as I used to be and I can focus on what I'm uh, better at. But yeah, yeah, that's been that's been going really well. And then obviously what we're learning on the uh, the course as well means that I've got also time now to think about shaping and focusing on other deals as well that um i can sort of focus my time and energy on so yeah yeah on the property side really enjoying the momentum and the the rate of learning and just yeah there's a lot of opportunity out there at the moment which is really exciting so understanding how to try and sort of capitalize that and you know create win-win opportunities with um with other people in the space and people looking to sell their properties that that have a problem and need help is um is is really really great so yeah the remix group brand is um, yeah, in, in sort of rude health at the minute. And yeah, we're, we're, we're sort of very much in that exciting growth phase right now, which is great. Yes. And just picking up on one thing you said there, some, some of the listeners might not um, be too familiar with it. So you're doing this development and you've joint ventured with um, with the contractor. So how does that work? And is there any sort of, what would you say the benefits are of doing that if anybody's interested in doing something similar themselves, maybe? Yeah, so um, I suppose, you know, as, as you teach a lot as well, Terry, you know, you, you, this came about from just a very, uh, I don't know, I'd say uh, innocuous, but the networking session of just sharing what you do on a regular basis. But I'd say the benefit for me has been, you know, sort, sort of finding someone who shares your level of motivation, but isn't kind of interested in the same part of, um, you know, running the business that that, that I am necessarily. So, you know, I've got limited skills when it comes to knowing how to to build luxury developments. But I'd say what I do, you know, possess is a real passion for like, you know, the the sort of raising finance for um, design, for the marketing side um, of property. So, you know, I think if you can find someone who that, you know, you find that similar situation, I think there's potentially huge value there because, you know, for both of us, it's it's a huge win win in the in the relationship, um, and yeah, I think the difference is on this project is you know having someone now who's on the project who's equally motivated. So 
you know, the alternative scenario might be, you know, you, you hire a contractor who's a third party who's got no vested interest in the project. The speed and focus that they're going to put onto that project is going to be less. I've seen it firsthand with the first project I did where, you know, you're kind of constantly on the case. You're hoping things are going to work. Right now, it's a case of, you know, like Aaron, who's my business partner now, is just amazing that like he's, you know, pulling people off other projects to work on this as a priority. So, you know, there's no kind of me pushing. It's a case of we're both partnering to to kind of do the the highest quality work um, in the shortest amount of time with a with a shared vision and goal. And it's it's actually more fun. I've realised the sort of personality type I'm on. Like property can be quite an isolating space at times. So, I mean, I love working with someone where you can share ideas. You know, you realise like you, you challenge each other. It's yeah, it's been a it's been a it's been a it's been a huge step forward just in terms of you know what we can achieve together, but my enjoyment level as well, which again going back to that lifestyle ethos, is is a really important part. Yeah, I think that's a really good couple of points you made there, and knowing your skill set and not trying to do everything that you, yourself, especially things that you maybe don't enjoy or you're not that experienced in. Um, I think being self aware enough to to do that is is a skill. Um. And it's a, it's a great attribute that you've obviously got, and and if you enjoy, you're enjoying it more, things are getting done quicker. Um, you know, and you're sharing a bit of the profit, and, and he's happy, you're happy. It's a win win. Then that's that's a great outcome for for all, isn't it? So I think the lesson there, anybody listening, is know your skill set, be self aware enough, and yes, you might give away more of the profit, but if that gives you more of your time or more enjoyment back in return, then you know, 50% of something is surely better than 100% of of a lower amount anyway. Um, not of nothing, but you get the point. I think that's um yeah. fair play doing that. I think that's it. It is a great strategy. It's something I've done a couple of times. I know Mark's big on it. Joint venturing with contractors. I think that's uh that, that's a great shout. Um you also talked about um you have the remix group brand. So could you maybe tell the listeners sort of what that does and it might be able to help some of the listeners because I know there's a lot of a lot of property investors who listen. So yeah, how, that, how, can, how, can, how can it help with us? Yeah, yeah, 100%. So yeah, we've got so Remix Group is um, the property investment and development business. So yeah, the whole ethos behind Remix Group is creating inspiring spaces for better living. So I'm a massive believer in kind of the impact of your environment affects how we, you know, we think, act and feel. And I think that's a really important um, thing for people's lives day to day. So um, well, what I also have, um, my other business is Remix Studio on the back of that. So, yeah, my legacy um, was very much sort of 20 years in London um, in media and marketing. And so what I've done is kind of combine my sort of passion for property with my historic expertise in uh, media and marketing to launch a Remix Studio about a year and a half ago. And, yeah, we help sort of investors um, developers and developers and even small business owners actually in and around the property space. Um, to help them stand out. So everything really, Terry, from, you know, helping them create a brand, um, you know, develop logos, their website, understand what their values are, tell that story, even into kind of social media and content creation as well. So, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's great because there's a, there's a natural overlap with, um, you know, like I say, my passion for property and um, and creating brands and telling stories, which, you know, which, as you know, if it's about, if your focus is kind of either raising money or for developers, it might be trying to sell properties as quickly as possible because, you know, they're sort of on a, uh, on a finance bridge, you know, the, the value in being able to sh- to sell your properties, you know, one, two, three months before, um, mm-hmm. uh, before they go on sale, for example, we're talking huge numbers with some of these developments. So yeah, we've really honed in on, on, on that particular space and, yeah, working with again values-driven business owners and entrepreneurs who who understand that and want to sort of stand out. So yeah, yeah. I mean, we've currently got I think we've got um, three spaces open for our our next intake on the Remix Studio part of the business as well. So yeah, if anyone's interested and wants to sort of find out more, um, yeah, happy to to sort of have a kickoff conversation with them as well, and we can share a little bit more about how we we help people in that space as well. Great, excellent. No, no, that's cool. Um, and what's the best way for someone to reach out, Michael? Is it Instagram, Facebook, website, email? What's what's best for you? All of, all of those lovely channels. Yeah, what? yeah. Um, uh, I guess that. Yeah, on uh, on Instagram, um, I'm at remix.group.uk. 
Um, they can also sort of drop me uh, drop me an email as well, um, which is just Michael at remixgroup.uk. So yeah, feel free to feel free to ping me a note, and um, yeah, myself or one of the team will will certainly get back, and we can um, we can set up a conversation. Yeah, they're on all loads of channels as, as you are, Terry, as well. But um, yeah, I'd say uh, Instagram or email is probably the best way of um, of getting in touch, or even if you just want to follow along on the journey of the development side. Um, yeah, yeah, please, please do. Like, always happy to share, and we're always trying to share tips and add value. And um, yeah, I, I'm sure there's um, yeah plenty of plenty of content that people can uh, can enjoy if nothing else. So um, yeah, but please feel Definitely. free to reach out. Happy to help. Definitely. No, no, I love that, mate. No, thank you so much for coming on. It's been a good episode. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the progress on the Shinazi houses and, uh, <laughs> and what you go to that as well. I mean, I'm sure you're going to go on to some great stuff. Um, and that's for sure. I can, I can tell. So, um, thank you, my friends, and have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks, Terry. Great to be on. Take care. See you soon. Thanks, mate.